Hey guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. Welcome back to the channel. Be warned, I'm going to have a bit of a rant in this video. Just recently, in the e-waste, it's just dropped into my shop. Now, most of you that know me and follow my channel know that I don't like stuff going to landfill. E-waste generally doesn't anyway, because it's illegal to put it in the bin in Australia. However, the recycling system isn't perfect. There's still a lot of wastage. We're by far better off repairing and reusing before we throw them out now this was dropped into the shop and the guy said to me it still works but it's not as good as it was we've bought a new one they've gone out to buy another one and they're throwing this out now at least he brought it to me before he just threw it in the e-waste crate but i'm gonna show you what's wrong with this and have a bit of a whinge about the manufacturers that make these things and perhaps the retailers that retailers that sell them because there is no need to throw something like this out and buy a new one in a relatively short time. Look, it's probably only 12 months old. You can still buy these things new. Let's have a look at it and I'll show you what I mean. Now, before we get into my big gripe about this, let's have a look at what they say when you buy them online. Now, here's one, the same model, still currently available on dicksmith.com.au. There's plenty of retailers that sell these. And let's have a look at what they say um, I think they've got well they've got reviews on this page but what do they say let's look at the description features multi-cyclonic filtration technology same as Dyson the motor size um, balanced floor to ceiling cleaning one touch here we go one touch bin emptying uh, the nozzles the cord length accessory tools crevice tools color one year warranty and they do note that the vacuum cleaner is not cordless it comes with a seven meter cord so anyone buying this would i think i saw somewhere that it says oh here we go it's called a bagless hand stick vacuum cleaner for pet hair so people here would gather that all right there's no bag because it says it's bagless and there's one touch bin emptying if we look at the reviews um great suction great product um oh that's a bit harsh anita haven't tried using it myself but my partner found it handy and easy to use and she only gave three stars anyway that's beside the point people seem to like it it's a lightweight product it vacuums well and someone says here easy to use very convenient easy to store easy to empty very powerful so nowhere here doesn't mention and this is my point nowhere here doesn't mention that you have to clean a filter and that's the crux of this whole video let's go and have a look at one on ebay ebay seller it doesn't matter which seller it is they all have the same sort of stuff um, good pictures of it all shows the cyclonic uh, canister that you empty does not show a filter features Mini cyclonic filtration technology, same as Dyson. Uh, hygienic one-touch bin emptying. That's all it tells you about emptying the dust. So after reading all that, let's go and have a look at the one on the bench. Okay, let's have a better look at this one. I might just take the nozzle off for ease of handling. So remember, these people dropped it off to me because, well, basically they were throwing it out and bought a new one. I don't know if they bought the same model or not. But they did because this one had lost a bit of suction and they figured it was worn out. Now here's the canister that you open to release all the dust from the cyclonic action. And yes, that is easy to empty, granted. But most people who don't have technical knowledge of their appliances, and let's face it, nearly everyone just buys a thing and uses it, and most people don't understand how they work, um, would think, all right, that's now clean, we can go and vacuum again. There's nothing anywhere to say that it has a filter. If you bother to take this cap off here, this does actually have a little mesh filter here, which isn't the air intake. It's just for the air to flow back through from the motor. So that looked clean. And again, anyone without much knowledge and thought there was a filter in here would say, all right, it's all completely clean. We can go and vacuum again. But... If you take this canister opening off and remove the center piece of the cyclonic part, inside 
we see a proper filter and have a look at that. It's a normal pleated paper filter similar to an air filter on an engine that should be cleaned out regularly and it's really easy to clean them just with a bit of a tap and blow a bit of air through. You don't need an air compressor until they get to this stage. So the people were thinking that they'd emptied the, the dust and then they wondered why the vacuum was losing power and they threw it out. Have a look at how that's never been cleaned from brand new. Now, no disrespect to the owners of this or the ex-owners because now it's mine. I know them. They're nice people. They're just not technically minded as most people, especially the elderly, aren't. They just buy one of these and use it, follow the instructions, empty the dust can. No mention at all of the filter. There possibly is in the manual probably on page seven after all the different languages you've got to read through. I haven't seen a manual for it, but surely a manufacturer in the interests of their product lasting a long time could put on here, change or check air filter regularly inside for optimum performance, clean filter once a week or once a month. Um, there's no mention anywhere of an air filter. I'm going to clean this up now and see how well it performs. I think I'll take this outside and then get the air compressor onto this. I can tell though that they don't have pets. There doesn't appear to be any pet hair there, just normal fluff and dust. So now we're back in the shed, the cleaner the filter looks pretty much as new. It's it's cleaned up fine. There's nothing at all wrong with it. It did have a little, it's got a little rubber seal around the end. If you clean these, you've got to be careful you don't lose that. Uh, I also just blew the air compressor through this part just to clean it up and the canister. But really, if you don't have an air compressor and you own one of these, just pull the filter out every week or a couple of weeks and just give it a tap. It just relieves all the, the dirt and the dust that gets in there, keeps it operational. They're easy to pull out. You don't need specialised tools at all. They're purely a bayonet style fitting. So that's locked back in there now. We can put this section in, which again is the same. It's just a, a bayonet style fitting all back together. How easy is that? Now, I did mean to give a comparison and try this before I pulled it apart and, you know, seeing if it would pick up a, a ping pong ball or something like that. Oh, I forgot to do that. But uh, we can certainly plug it in now and give it a test. It doesn't need much of an imagination to realise that it's going to be much better. In fact, this should perform as new because it sounded fine. So let's plug it in and see. OK, plugged in. Let's turn it on. I would say that performs beautifully now. I'm going to take this back to the shop and you can buy them brand new for around about $100. I think we saw on one of the websites a bit, a bit better price than that. I'm just going to put $20 on it. I have all the accessories. It presents pretty well and now it works pretty much as new. Why on earth should something like this be thrown out? If it hadn't have come to me, no one would have given it a second look. It would have gone into the e-waste process system, be broken up, the cord would have gone for copper wire, so at least that's recycled. It's debatable how much of this plastic actually gets recycled. Uh, there is a little electric motor in there, but most of it would probably end up in landfill. Now, at least it's going to have another couple of years of life, and whoever I sell it to, I'll say, don't forget to check the filter inside. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to stop short of vacuuming my shed because that would be ridiculous. Um, I hope you've learned something from this. I'll probably put in the title something like, if you own a bagless vacuum cleaner, make sure you check the filter. There's probably lots of other brands have the same. I don't know about Dyson. Um, surely they must have a filter as well because the cyclonic system really just keeps the big stuff away from going into the suction port. So if you own a vacuum cleaner or indeed any other appliance, give it a little bit of maintenance, have a think about it. I mean, obviously other appliances don't always have filters like vacuums do. But it's worth at least maybe reading the book properly on the maintenance. Get a lot longer life out of your equipment. Save having to throw it out and buy a new one all the time. 
and just, you know, a bit of common sense. Sorry about my rant. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.